Well, hello there and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general Motivational Monday reading. So no matter where you are in the world, even if it is Tuesday where you are, I am talking to you because we are in, we're entering, we're about to enter a new phase, a new moon phase, and it's the last quarter moon in Aries, right? So it's going to affect every sign. And I want to make sure for that seven day span that you're able to ram through those emotions. Because again, you're trying to expand. You're trying to make room for something that you said you wanted in your lives, right? So these readings are timeless. They're actually timeless. So whenever you see them is when you're supposed to see them. So along that same vein, please set your notifications to all so that you don't miss any readings whatsoever. Even though they are titled Motivational Monday readings, if you happen to see it and it's Tuesday where you are, it still applies. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading, Cancers. I am talking to each and every one of you. If you have cancer in your chart, if you have cancer in your chart, tomorrow kicks off cancer season. Yay! So, Cancer, send me text messages or drop messages below to let me know what you all want as gifts during cancer season. I want you all to comment anyway, but I like to get ideas for what you all want as gifts during cancer season. So, don't forget to send me your information. My, my number is my telephone number is below. You can text me your information or you can drop a comment below in the comment section. So, like I said before, the energy has already been cleared. So let's get right into your reading. If you have cancer anywhere in your chart, that would make you a sweetheart. I want you to keep that in mind. That makes you a sweetheart. Makes you extremely powerful if you're cancer anyway because you're ruled by the moon. But uh, and you're very receptive to energy. But you're also empathic. You are all you give your absolute best. You are tenacious, highly imaginative. You all are persuasive, sympathetic, very mothering sign. You all are called the den mother sign, and you're also called the money sign. Okay, so I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your chart. Here we go. If you have a court case coming up, congratulations, you won. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's all you, again, somebody has the several ties with some emotions, several ties with some, some people. And that's going to incense some people. That's going to make some people very, very, very angry that you have learned how to take your emotion back. And even if you don't have a, um, have a court case in a court of law, this is also moral justice in your favor. Somebody understands that you have, you have turned off the water faucet, no more emotions whatsoever. See the bright side of the moon in Aries. And like I said, we have the last quarter moon in Aries. The bright side of that is that you become even more energetic, enterprising, optimistic, open to change, idealistic. The dark side of a moon in Aries is you are more impulsive, opinionated, domineering, impatient, vain even, right? So again, you're going to keep your vibrations very high. Somebody tap into their divine masculine energy and severed ties with the emotion and the person, place, or thing, right? So you are at a higher frequency. I love it, love it, love it. Again, somebody is really focusing on expansion and feeling great. So somebody could have been spending some time out in the sun, removing all that stale energy. Again, somebody got out of the house. Yes, Cancer, I'm loving it. Somebody got out of the house, removed all that stale energy of fear and doubt. And somebody is starting to, you know, like how it feels outside in the sun. They're like, okay, I need to get out of the house more, right? I need to get out of my head. I need to get out of the house more, right? Somebody is thinking about expanding. Even your mindset, you're thinking about expanding, right? So here we have in your minor arcana. These are your major arcana here. So, um... Uh, we have the eight of pentacles, so I'm seeing more money coming your way, and I see it coming your way soon because you are you have come through those challenges, those that anxiousness, that fear. You don't look like what you've been through, cancer, at all. You've still been coming up with a lot of ideas. Your ancestors have been keeping you a smile on your face, keeping you happy, at least out in public. It's been keeping you happy, but that 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 smile on the outside is about to match the smile on the inside, right? Again, multiple streams of income and your intuition is even hotter, right? Hot, 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 right? So again, with that, that intuition being heightened, you're learning how to control your emotions. You're starting to really listen to when I get moody or I start feeling like I'm being negative about situations or clingy or unpredictable or suspicious of everything. I need to start listening to that. <laughs> I need to get out of my house and stop sitting around overthinking this thing where it's affecting the people that are track that that have come to visit me because a lot of people you a lot of cancers are homebodies and people want to be in your space. So some of you all have learned to stop 
inviting people to your house. Stop giving everybody your address. Stop giving people a free pass to come in and out of your space because you need that time to really think. So a lot of you all are going to start spending some alone time, some quality alone time, just, just recharging, right? Under the sun, right? You already have the backing of the moon, right? But you're going to start recharging under that sun, which means getting out of the house more. I love it, love it, love it. Let's keep it moving, Cancers. This is great. So yeah, somebody is reevaluating the things that they want in their lives versus the things they don't want in their lives. That's what I'm talking about, the justice card, taking that sword and balancing out your own scales of justice. Because um, um, a justice card is the 11th card in tarot, and 11 is about stepping into your own light. So you may start seeing more numbers like 2 and 9, 3 and 8, um, um, 10 and 1. You know, anything that reduces to the number 11, you might start seeing that even more and more and more. Really, sources letting you know you're headed in the right direction. You made the right choice. Even if you see the number 11 here, left and right, 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 11, 11, 11. That's what you're starting to see. You're seeing 11s everywhere in numbers that reduce to the number 11. So no matter how long the string of numbers are, you add them all up and you, you reduce and reduce and reduce and it reduces to the number 11. That's source letting you know, or, or some number in sync, right? 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 6, all the way up to 99. Source is telling you, keep your vibrations very high. You're headed in the right direction. Just stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. So yeah, somebody has been really focused on getting across this tightrope. Imagine walking on the tightrope, right? And having all this anxiety because you don't know how far down this drop is, right? Wind is blowing. See the wind blowing through the person's hair, right? But the birds, your ancestors are keeping you focused. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward, Cancer. You make the right decision. Keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward to, towards your new life. Keep moving forward, Cancer. You're still coming up with all ideas. So again, be grateful that you have Cancer in your chart, right? Even if you're a cross watcher, um, see if you have Cancer in your chart. Go to Google and type in free birth chart. Go to Google and type in free birth chart. Yeah. So again, like I said, this is a general reading. So take only what resonates with you at a higher frequency. You'll see sunnier, sunnier days lies ahead. Ace of cups, right? Yes. The outpouring of compassion, outpouring of emotion. Somebody has been going through a real emotional time where there's been a lot of tears shed, there's been a lot of, but now this breakthrough for you, this, this new information at a higher frequency coming your way, letting you know you're almost through this. Just stay focused, ram through those emotions. This is where you're finishing strong, right? This is where you're finishing strong. So an Aries moon for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios for water signs emphasizes imagination and intensity, right? You have an increased ability to create striking original work. That's why I said to you, your creativity is overflowing. It went from crying your eyeballs out over a situation to now writing fire love songs. And I say fire because I'm talking about Aries, this last quarter moon in Aries, right? Which is a fire sign, fire love songs, fire books, uh, fire inspiration coming from everywhere. Just putting that fire up under you. Nope, I'm finishing strong. I'm ramming through these emotions. That person may have had me crying or that person, place or thing, that job may have had me crying. Now it's like, you know what? I got a blowtorch in my hand. Please try it. You're not asking for trouble, but if you want some, st don't start none, won't be none. That's your attitude, right? Don't start none, won't be none, right? I'm not crying another tear over it, but don't start none because source already set it up for me outside of this job that if even if you decide to let me go, got, I got eight streams of income coming, so I'm not even stressed, right? If you don't want to pay your child support payments, that's cool. Source has at least eight streams of income coming my way, so I'm not even stressed, right? And if it's child support somebody has to go through, somebody's going to, it's going to add to your eight streams of income. If it's alimony, it's going to add to your eight streams of income. What your enemy doesn't understand is the balance that the universe provides, right? Because you have severed ties intentionally with fear and doubt and nervousness and anxiety when it comes to them. God gave you gave you an option to create more space, right? You created more space for this additional streams of income, right? Right? 
You ever notice, like, with kids, you know, you have some kids, or you just have some adults, it's like, oh, no, you know, um, I, I would never do that for money. Like, oh, my God, I would never start a YouTube channel. I mean, what would people think? I mean, you know, I went to school for X, Y, and Z, but then you got the YouTubers over there making a nice amount of money because they have removed fear and doubt. You have some people, oh, I would never work at McDonald's. Those, I mean, that's and how embarrassing is that? But they're always crying about not having any money, right? But there's an opportunity right there. Not to say that somebody's going to go work for McDonald's. I use McDonald's because, again, when opportunity lies ahead, McDonald's, Burger King, any fast food place or whatever, or, no, I, I would never go apply for that position because I'm not qualified. Why aren't you qualified? You bring intuitiveness. You bring very maternal, very magnetic energy. You attract money. Money is attracted to you. Like, money is just looking at you like, there's my mama, there's my daddy. So why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you apply for certain jobs? You know who you are and what you bring to any organization, whether it's a fast food place, whether it's a street sweeper, whether it's a CEO of a company or whatever it is, Source is trying to send you at least eight streams of income, however the money comes to you. You're not malicious at heart. You don't have to do anything strange for change. You don't have to do anything funny for money. You don't have to cut anybody low. You don't have to stab anybody in the back. You don't have to sabotage or manipulate people. You don't have to do any of that. It's already attractive to you right it's already attracted to you so whatever you had anxiety about if you had to sever ties with some siblings and you were worried first of all about them talking about you or running smear campaigns and all of that don't even worry about it they just increased your income that's if you don't worry about it and give it any any energy don't give it any energy whatsoever because there's going to be something removed from their life and, and given to you this is where this is where the wealth of the wicked is being transferred to you. So anything that you've had to sever ties with, you had to take that action with, you had to sever ties with, you don't even have to worry about it. I'm telling you, the wealth of the wicked has been transferred to you, Cancer. And I'm talking to you if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, meaning your moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart. If you're going through something where you feel like you've been shedding some tears over some things and very, very frustrated over some things where money is involved, God is about to increase that. God is about to, because it comes from source. Their money doesn't come from them, whoever they are. It comes from source. It comes directly from source cancer. So stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. So let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here in your cards. Let's see what else we have here in your cards, cancer. So yes, happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you all. That's right. Finish strong. It's time to finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Yes, here we go. The moon. There you go. That's right, which affects Pisces, right? Even though you are ruled, cancers are ruled by the moon, your intuition is uncovering all kinds of secrets about certain things all around you. Whatever you want, whatever that's unknown that other people don't know about, source is saying, cancer, I'm giving you a heads up. I'm showing you some things. I'm showing you that you already won. That's whether it's whether you have to go to a courtroom or not show up at court or whatever the case may be, you've already won. Some of you all would not even have to show up at court. You already won. It was already dismissed. Judge said, you can't find cancer. We can't serve cancer or anything because we can't find it. We need to go ahead and dismiss this. You just keep coming back to court for nothing. And we, we where is cancer? Obviously, they don't want anything to do with you. They don't want to be found, right? Leave them alone, right? So dismissed, right? Um, the, for the ones of you who don't have to appear in court and because and you're worried about the people that you've had to sever ties with physically and emotionally and spiritually in every other way, again, remember you're ramming through those emotions. You're going to finish strong and Source is going to let you know ahead of time through your intuition and through the moon, going to give you, that person is over there, they, they're scrambling, they, they, they're fighting because you're not showing any emotion whatsoever. It's not that you don't care, but guess what? It's not that you don't care. You don't care. You like caring is showing too much emotion. That's that's too much energy, and I and I'm not wasting my water another second. People keep dropping their water off on thirsty spirits, giving them a little bit more life. Stop doing that. 
That's not, it's not for you. It's not for you. Let them get water directly from the living water. Not from you, though. Here we go. Water time, alone time. That's what I'm telling you. Somebody's going to start getting out of the house more, you know, going to the beach more, being out in the sun even more. Because, again, you said, I need to get out of this house and get out of my mind. I need to get out of my head space of letting this thing swirl around in my mind for, for you know, and it's not it's not helping me. I need to get out of my head. Space. That's what I'm talking about. Ramming through those emotions. That's why I said, if your if your sun sign is a water sign, when I tell you that the Aries moon emphasizes your imagination and intensity, I'm talking about somebody to be sitting down writing some poetry. I mean, like your creativity is on a thousand, right? And then also, you like I said, you have an increased ability to create striking original work. It's gonna be amazing. That's why you gotta come through those emotions. A romantic cycle begins. That's right. A romantic cycle begins. So here we have Libra here and we have Libra here. Somebody's going to find their person. You just had to sever ties with a loved one who had you in tears, right? Had you in tears. It's going to help you creatively when you channel that energy away from them and you channel it towards your creative efforts. I'm telling you, some of you all are going to write your best work. Some of you all are going to sing um, the, the way you sing is going to become so deep that people are going to be like, wow, I can relate to that. And it's not about you being the best singer or the best rapper or the best performer or whatever. It's not even about you being, cause you're not comparing yourself. You are in that space, that moment of time cancer, where right now you're, you're pouring out all of your emotion for the world to hear or for the world to see your, your body of work. In some way, shape, form, or fashion. You're at a higher frequency now. God has already showed you that, hey, severing ties with them, you're protected. You have nothing to worry about. Now let's go focus over here. Let's go focus over here on this other side, right? Let's see what your number is for today. 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 Remember when you're seeing numbers in sync, source is trying to get you to raise your frequency to so you can see exactly what lies ahead for you. Your number for today is 66. I am positive. That's right. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. The number six, when you see the number six, and no matter how many sixes you see, it's in the form of a pregnant woman, right? You have a woman have like that, that roundness in their back a little bit and their belly is protruding. You know, this is you, very maternal energy, very, very, it's double maternal energy, right? Remain positive as you're going through this new phase um, that we're coming up on which also kicks off cancer season, which also with the cancer season and the summer solstice, as well as the last quarter moon in Aries. So this is where you're going to ramp through those emotions, cancer, get that fire up under you and turn that water faucet off about anything that you've had to sever ties with you in life, turn the water faucet off because now it's time to use your creativity wisely. Okay. That is what I have for you and anybody that you had to cut off. It doesn't matter if it's a sister, a brother, whomever you had to cut off a friend uh, the emotions from people at work it doesn't matter an ex it doesn't matter who you had to cut the emo you have nothing to worry about that's what i have for you cancers and i will see you in a couple of days but again this is your motivational monday video even if it is tuesday where you are it still applies these videos are timeless so whenever you see the video is when you're supposed to see it okay cancer and don't forget to drop Excuse me, don't forget to drop your comments below about what you all want during cancer season. If I don't hear back from anybody, guess what? There will be no gifts given out or I'll open it up to the other signs because a lot of signs have cancer in their chart and they'll be winning gifts. Okay, that's what I have for you cancers and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.